welcome to my video on the Sunny Life Sun Visor Camera Holder for car. Now, you can use this in a van or a lorry as long as you've got a sun visor. And basically, it is a mount that fixes to the sun visor so you can place your action camera on there. Or even if you've got a phone holder with a quarter inch screw thread on the bottom, you can place your mobile phone on there as well. Now, this holder simply attaches to your sun visor with this big clip and you can attach your action camera there and you can take either use your action camera on attached to the sun visor as a dash cam or you could just simply just take trips uh, or film within the car as you're driving so it's just another mount holder for your action camera now this is what you get in the box you get the base clip here which accommodates a buckle mount which you do get now this is made out of a resilient plastic <laughs> a strong plastic it's made out of and it's got teeth top and bottom to grip onto the sun visor so you get that and the words sunny life logo printed right across the top next you get the buckle mount which has a 360 degree rotation so this rotates round now when you do get it it's a bit stiff and I think they've purposely done that so it can hold the camera in place wherever you turn it once it's on the mount here now but you can loosen it because it has this hexagonal screw here so you need an allen key or a hexagon wrench I think you call it in America so you need that to loosen it up if you want it loosened. Now it does have the GoPro fingers here to attach your camera. We have the nut here for the thumb screw that you get. Now you can use not only their proprietary um, thumb screw, but you can also use a GoPro thumb screw in there as well. And next up we get a adapter which is a quarter inch screw thread adapter with this rubber on the platform and the platform can be adjusted as you can see so we get that that's for any camera that has a quarter inch um, female screw thread on the bottom so you get that and last of all you get this thumb screw now it's not a particularly long thumb screw, it's just a standard thumb screw, but Sunny Life just made it into this shape. So you get this kind of thumb screw with it. To assemble this is straightforward and easy. First things first, we don't need the adapter because I'm going to use a GoPro camera. So we don't need this adapter. So I'll put that to the side. We take the base part first, and then we get the buckle holder with the GoPro fingers on and we simply place this part through here so it's just, just a straightforward pushing it on and it clicks into place and as you can see there's a grip on either side of this mount so you can help you um, push it back out when you don't need it to deassemble it and then next we get the camera your action camera whether it's a GoPro or any other camera as long as it's got um, fingers to go in here let me place that in then we get the thumb screw as I said you don't have to use this particular thumb screw at all you can use any thumb screw of your choice and we just screw the camera in and then that's how it looks now this does double up as a small stand as well now to place this on the sun visor is very straightforward you turn the whole unit upside down so now your camera is hanging upside down and all you do is you just slide it onto the sun visor that's all and it will grip the sun visor. Now, once it's on the sun visor, all you can do, you can make your adjustments, whether you want to shoot straight forward out the window screen, 
or turning the camera in any orientation um, if you want to shoot back into the car so it's up to you I know this is gonna be axed in the comment section so I'm gonna address it now can this take any GoPro buckle and the answer is yes and no proprietary buckle holders or buckles can go in there which I've noticed they're easy to go in and easy to come out and they don't seem to clatter around in there neither so if you've got a proprietary GoPro one of these um, it will fit in there but the GoPro ones the reason why I say yes and no is if you've got this type of GoPro buckle to me I prefer it than this that comes with the Sunny Life because it has a more of a thin form factor but it is a hell of a job to push it in it will go in but it, take, it will take you at least a minute or two to, pre, to pull that in and it will close with this on there as well so it will go in there it's a very tight kind of fit in there if it goes in with this mount or this buckle now with this buckle which you normally get with the cameras and uh, with GoPro cameras anyway it's kind of the same it will go in it will go in it doesn't give as much trouble as this one but this one will go in and you'll be able to close it down with this but taking them out is especially this one is a pain in the neck it it can come out but it takes a lot of force to take it out while this one it's not so bad so that's why I said yes and no it just as you can see if I take this one off it's hard to pick it up on the camera but can you see the scratches folks that was made that came off using this one so it can go in now yes you can use other cameras action cameras on there as the DJI action cameras that use this magnetic um, mounting system yes you can put them on there because they have the GoPro fingers you can use um, 360 cameras on this um, with the quarter inch female thread on them um, as long as you use the adapter and you do just bear in mind that you have got this platform that is adjusting so, uh, so you can adjust it to fit the tightness to, uh, for the camera on there so you you can use that and you can use the Insta360 Go 3 camera on there as long as you use the adapter so if you get this um, mount which you normally get with the camera you can use this obviously it will make it a bit longer so it will hang down longer from your visor plus it adds a bit more weight so if you can get the quick release mount from either Insta360 or from AliExpress um, any version what they do on there I, I suggest you get that mount because at least it makes it more compact because this does add weight um, to it and the visor it depends how strong your sun visor is when it's in the closed position um, if it's very if it's a, got some strength to it it will keep and bear the way to this so bear that in mind this is my thoughts on the sunny life sun visor camera holder for car and you can use it in your van and you can use it in your lorry any transport as long as it's got a sun visor you can use this now even without a sun visor you could still use this because it doubles up as a stand and it does make a very good stand um, as it is if you want a unique perspective of inside your vehicle and also outside your vehicle or to the sides of your vehicle this is great because it can turn 360 degrees for adjustment so that's brilliant so I do give it that the build quality I would say is good it does feel a bit flimsy but I've really tried this pulling it off pushing it on hard and all that kind of stuff and it seems to take uh, the take the abuse really so that's good 
If you're going to use a 360 degree camera, it's best to use the adapter that comes there and you do get a very good, unique perspective of the car and the insides and that when you use a 360 camera. So try and use it with this thing. It's brilliant with that. If you're going to use DJI cameras with this proprietary mount, um, yes, it does fit in there. It does add a little bit more weight to this, but if you've got a strong sun visor, that means, what I mean by that, the one of the sun visors that, you know, when you close it back up, uh, it snaps back into place, then you'll be all right with this. And you'll be all right with the Go 3 camera with this mounting system on there. But if you've got the GoPro, GoPro, I'm sorry folks, I'm getting the cameras mixed up. If you've got the Insta360 Go with the quick release mount or proprietary quick release mount, a third party one, um, which I have done in one of my other videos, um, then obviously it'll make it a low form factor on their low profile and it will take the weight. Uh, as I says, again, I'm gonna stress this again, Check your sun visor before buying this product. If you've got a nice stiff sun visor, you'd be okay with this. If you've got a loose sun visor, I suggest you just put an action camera such as a GoPro or any other action camera. Thanks for watching the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. I perfectly understand my videos can be long but I like to go into detail on the item or the product so when you get it, you know what to expect. Please subscribe to my channel if you like the channel. I'll be grateful for that and I'll see you next time.